welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'll just adjust the mic, just have a quick sip of tea and a spray of my nicotine inhaler. Hang on. Because obviously I'm a recovering smoker for uh, five years. been smoking uh, basically that nicotine spray for about five years now. So addicted to the spray now, which is obviously a lot better. That's sarcasm. Right, let's have a look at some of these charts then, shall we? Big move today from Bitcoin, big move across the board. Let's get some of these coins up first. If you've got any requests, uh, feel free to send them through to me uh, and we'll have a look at them one at a time. So the, the obvious ones, or should I say the ones that I'm most invested in, <coughs> I'm going to get up first and we can have a look at all of those and see if we can make heads or tails of them. Because some of these might be making moves tomorrow. Um, including Bitcoin, excuse me, including, including Bitcoin. But this is my first chance I've had, uh, had to really have a look at my actual computer and been trading with my phone, which is not really uh, the best way to go about doing stuff. Um, how long do you see this bull market lasting? Well, I mean, technically, the bull, uh, the bull, the bull market never, never finished. Um, in theory, uh, the bull market has continued. Um, since oh, what will be about ten, well, eleven months. We've actually been in a bull market for eleven months. So believe that or not. And the reason I say that is because this is where we started down here. Um, well, technically, that's where the bottom was in. Confirmed at this point here. So confirmed almost exactly a year ago to the day, actually. So the bull market is continuing rather than the bull market. Um, it never it never finished but i know what you mean so in realistic terms uh, do how do i in anticipate this moving forward i actually anticipate this moving forward pretty dramatically and i'll tell you why um <coughs> lea sorry before i go ahead i can't look at bch um on binance because the the history of it is it's it's been cut so i can't really look at it but I can't really give you any insight into that one unfortunately um only stuff on binance but basically uh, in answer to the first question yeah, the bull market um, has, is now about to go turbo because we had this golden cross form here, the price action being here. So now that we're only here, I would expect us to pretty much make our way up to uh, into the 11,000s pretty quickly. Um, I know that sounds ridiculous because we just pumped all this way. We're used to having a bear trend. We're used to being in bearish moves. Um, but I think all of that is pretty much pretty much over. The reason being is we, if we close this candle today, tonight. Uh, at the level that we're at right now or higher would have made technically a new local high on the weekly um, basically saying to everybody it's time to move um, the MACD on the weekly has a fresh cross we've got plenty of room to move to the up so weekly looks great and weeklies are where the trends get set in, in stone basically so I like to trade things and it's best to trade things on a long term time frame rather than the short term which is why if you ever do margin trading you should use only ever really use low leverage unless you're scalping and that scalping really doesn't really come it is it's not really something you can do very often um only when the only when the volume and the volatility is predictable and tradable can you ever really use high leverage so yeah one to uh, between two to three leveraged longs now I'm losing my train of thought um but um but yeah, um, we're, we're going to make uh, large moves from this point. You see, the last time we uh, we basically broke bullish was about uh, around about here. So now we've had our golden cross. I'd expect us, and this is the golden cross on the daily. It's going to start playing out now. So long as we have this confirmed, which it looks like we might do, we'd be very surprised if we retrace uh, below this level here of nine thousand five hundred and fifty. We're more than likely, and uh, it's very difficult to say because we've still got a few hours on the board yet. Very likely to. Um, to close this where we are now and and then continue and like I say I would expect to get into the 11,000s with Bitcoin and that will probably take us with the um, with a lot of these alts that will they'll take them with it uh, they'll all be going uh, they'll all be going at the same speed let's just have a look at oh, how embarrassing it is to see all my history here um, I want to have a look at Bitcoin dominance Bitcoin dominance So yeah, just a little insight into my life there. You got to see my uh, Google searches. How embarrassing! Just as well I'm not a weirdo. Uh, otherwise, you'd see some real crazy shit. Um, 
Right, so the Bitcoin dominance is actually really low at the moment, so I would expect to see alts rally with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's going to rally too. So we're going to see big moves across the board for everything. Um, I'm looking to see Bitcoin into the 11,000s, so that is going to be a move of, from where, let's just say where we are now, to 11,000, that's going to be a really big move. If we get to 11,000, that's 14% move. Okay. So the way that alts are going at the moment, most alts are moving faster than Bitcoin, so we're going to be looking at alts moving at around about 20%, generally speaking, majority of alts will be moving around 20%. This doesn't mean it'll be moving there in a day, but this could be there in a couple of weeks. So now is a pretty good time to be holding any alts really or bitcoin in general and um, if you're holding those alts uh, and bitcoin in you know something like binance or you're actually holding the, the the coins physically you can't really go wrong i mean you can obviously if you, if you choose some ter terrible coins or coins that have pumped massively already like icon or whatever you can you can you can clearly go wrong but you know what I mean. These ones that I've got across the board, apart from things like BTT, which is a bit risky, maybe Matic might be a bit risky too, but Ethereum, Binance Coin, you know, maybe even BAT. Uh, but you get the idea. All the top coins are going to be moving with Bitcoin. And like I say, provided we close here tonight, and ideally close the week this way, uh, and the week, you know, obviously we're only midweek now, but I would expect to see uh, some more moves now. Then, uh, then yeah, we're going to be looking at some significant moves across the board. So, so we're talking, well, we're talking the bull market has begun again. Bull market point two, bull market 2020. Oh yeah, well thanks for that, Chris. Yeah, one to the moon. I appreciate your super chats uh, and your donations as well. You know, you you're the most generous donator. You got a hand, uh, hands up to Chris there. Chris has I don't know if he's given it to me yet, but he's, he definitely said he was gonna. Um, I haven't checked. Um, the biggest donation I've ever had, fifty dollars worth of one, and one is I'll get that up as well because one looks like it's making decent moves too. Um, and that fifty dollars will be going to my nappy fund for my newborn baby, baby Tiggy, um, who is uh, downstairs suckling on the the the, the teat. Um, hopefully, we won't be hearing anything out of her or my toddler for the rest of the night, which is why I've had to uh, call these videos, you know, far and few between. I've been on paternity leave until tomorrow, go back to work, so I've had a few little intervals where I can make videos, but you know, back to the grind tomorrow. Uh, back to work and um, these videos might suffer so if you've got any questions feel free to shove them through to me 10,001 with my name on it thank you very much Chris you're the most generous OG of the channel um, ever so thank you very much right <clears throat> so let's have a look then at some of these at Ethereum Ethereum my all-time favorite and um, way way exceeded well I say way exceeded it currently has exceeded my target of 200 um, and Looking at it now on the daily, should it should come back down. It's definitely way overextended. You've got to also say that pretty much with uh, the way the Bitcoin's looking, uh, rejected at the very top, the tippy top of the of the um, of the Bollinger Band there. Um, but that doesn't mean a great deal. It's, it could still it's, it could still have room to move up. The RSI is sort of punching the wall. So is the, so is the the RSI and the top of the Bollinger Band. So a natural place for it to stop. A very careful uh, place for it to stop. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will stop, but when you're looking at the alts, they're overextended. Uh, this this boy is definitely overextended. Let's have a look at the uh, RSI. Yep, yeah, overextended. So, so this this is this is an example of of where this the shift might begin. When the alts, like I say, the alts will pump hard. The the obvious trade would be for that money to then flood back into Bitcoin, uh, because Bitcoin is the is the is. It's going to become the more dominant again throughout the year. So you buy at this level, really, where the, uh, the dominance is is relatively low, and um, so you make the switch soon. So when, when on this next pump, this is what I'm planning on doing anyway myself. Uh, on the next big pump, most of my money is in Ethereum, and I will probably cash out that Ethereum, put it into Bitcoin, and ride the Bitcoin. I'll have a few wild cards like Matic and BTT and a few others, but the vast majority of my money will go back into Bitcoin, and um, and and ride that dominance back up into the 70s, which is probably where it's going to end up by the summer again. I do expect that this year we'll see uh, this uh, this be um, uh, this boy. This area here will be taken out uh, by the summertime, and probably 
probably even see this get taken out before ooh, before the autumn <clears throat> so you've got to have a long term strategy and, my, and I'm all about the long term strategy really and my, my long term strategy is that uh, is to cash out on the next big wave of alt pumps push that into the uh, into the bitcoin while the while the dominance is relatively low uh, because the the dominance will increase and um, if it was anything by last year uh, to go by which i expect it probably will be um alts will begin to suffer after they have probably made another, another generally speaking another 35% move to the up they will they won't suffer they'll still go up but bitcoin will be the more productive coin to be investing in that's how i see it Oh yeah, um, b uh, do I see Bitcoin doing good this December? Of course, yeah. But I'm I'm a, I am a believer in the four year cycle. So this is now um, the, uh, the the year two of that four year cycle, which means that technically we've got this year and we've got the the next year of consistent bull bull market. Um, there'll be ups and there'll be downs. Um, there might be consolidations such as this happen again this year there's no reason why it wouldn't and um, the reason I think that this is is has happened uh, this year is because there's so many more people in the, in the market in the space and there's a lot more it's, it's, it, there's a lot more people margin trading it and there's it, the, the whole access to crypto has become so easy and that basically people just throwing their money in really fast and then had that taken taken away from them you know over a longer period of time so we might be seeing this sort of move all over again this year um, but generally speaking we're gonna have another another year of ups and um, and then another year after that 2021 will be the final year uh, where we'll probably see the biggest the biggest move um, and then 2022 will just be a matter of retracing for the best part or an entire year really that's how I see it playing out that's what I expect from it anyway so yeah we've uh, we've briefly touched on ethereum so basically I'm expecting a pullback at this point now so let's just have a quick look at where we could end up um, we could end up as far as uh, as this level here and um, between uh, 220 to 222 maybe it may be if it really overreaches uh, 233 just because these were the obvious tops that we've had on these uh, on these waves down and that was a big move up there so that would be uh, an inevitable place for it to 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 really suffer some kind of pullback so maybe I'll have my sights set at around about uh, 200 and maybe 216 17 or something just front run that move a little bit and then I'll cash out there and uh, and maybe put it back into Bitcoin or we'll see how the retrace goes on on Ethereum. maybe I'll buy it back again for the bounce but we'll see so you've got to you've got to bear these kind of things in mind so yeah that would be the first an obvious place for it to really hit a big retracement from that level and this and it's these retracements when when it hits these levels this is what will push the dominance back up again uh, because the retracements will be a lot heavier and harder <coughs> with the alts and um, basically meaning that Bitcoin dominance gains so everything falls Bitcoin will fall alts will fall when they hit resistances but alts will fall harder and just gradually uh, with every time it does that um, Bitcoin dominance will grow so 2021 will be the peak yeah that's my expectation December 2021 roughly speaking thereabouts and like I say it's, it's it's a long way away so we've got to see how things go but generally speaking around about December 2021 is the is, is what's expected for it to become a peak it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be in December it might be before it might be after but within a three month period of around about December so a couple of months either side thereabouts it will reach its peak and its peak will happen real quick so um, make sure you've got a decent strategy because the worst thing that could happen is that you um, you're transferring your Bitcoin over to Coinbase or to wherever it is that you're looking to sell it at and um, the, the blockchains fall and the, the sites go down and you know you've got to bear all of that in mind you want to you want to try and sell towards the top and you don't really know where the top will be a lot of people say it could be as high as two hundred thousand dollars a bitcoin it could be higher it could be lower I, I'm, I'm roughly expecting you know I'll be very happy to see something along the lines of around about seventy five thousand dollar a bitcoin I think that's that's a reasonable place for it to, to to get to but it could definitely get higher than that definitely 
um, but it will when it gets to that period it will be going up so fast so high that you want to have it in the right place at the right time and be able to pull the trigger on it because if you can't and you're you know and you're stuck especially it'll be horrendous if you're stuck in tether for instance and in a and the bear market has begun then you have to buy your bitcoin or buy your assets send it over to coinbase in the time that it takes to go over there you could have lost a thousand two ten twenty thousand dollars you know you got to have your strategy planned out let's have a look at this then sorry xtz so we'll have a look at xtz for you then get rid of some of these Uh, we'll bring them both up. I haven't looked at this in, in ages. I've never traded it, but um, it's I know it's one of the top coins now. I think my computer needs an upgrade. Done. It's a little bit slow, but a little bit too slow for my liking. So yeah, so we're pretty much. Um, it's a, actually it's not. It's a strange looking one. Um, Bitcoin pairing and. Well, I mean, just just from looking at it straight off the bat, immediately, just as I'm looking at it right now, it looks it looks overextended. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it wants to get too much higher. You can always take the risk in the event that it goes parabolic, because um, there's going to be a lot of money probably thrown into the market at the moment, um, and it could go your way. Look at what happened with Icon. I mean, that was unbelievable what happened there. I thought it was topped out, and it, and it more than doubled after that. Uh, but generally just going by this chart now it's a nice bullish spread um, it's not a very old chart by the looks of things on Binance so it's difficult to say um, but yeah we're way overhead with the Bollinger Bands um, we're right into overextended territory on the MACD um, the sorry the MACD is it's pretty, it's pretty high actually, but it's, it's 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 not too overextended actually. The MACD, it's the RSI is definitely looking overextended. Um, I'd wait for this one to pull back within the Bollinger Band range um, of the daily. Let's have a look at the weekly, but it's not really going to show a great deal, is it? Yeah, it's not very useful. Um, personally, I'd wait for this to pull back. I think maybe tomorrow might be a day of pullbacks, but um, I can't really give you a figure on this one because it's the, there's not a great deal of chart to go by really. I mean, it's bullish. You don't need me to tell you that. I mean, it's clearly bullish, but it's a very young chart. I don't have a great deal to go by. Um, the Bitcoin pairing. It's reasonable to assume that it will take out its previous high uh, of uh, twenty-five seventy-five. It's reasonable to assume that that will happen. Um, but other than that, I've really got nothing else to go by on this one. Um, the chart is too young for me to say. Oh, sorry about that. <coughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's reasonable to assume that it would it would reach there, but there's nothing to say that it definitely will. But given the way that I'm looking at alts at the moment, is that I, the dominance is low and the market is 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 getting ready to pump. So I would expect that this this next pump will take out this previous high, um, and then maybe you might want to think about selling it to be honest with you, or maybe front run that move a little bit just in case. Because I think if anyone is looking at this chart and this is all you've got to go by, that would be the obvious place to sell. So maybe you want to sell at the top of the candle body. So 2447. That's probably what I would do if I was to for if I was forced to trade this coin. But I can't really trade on a, on, a, on an asset with such a small history. But it does look good. But um, and it's it's got room to move here on the, on Bitcoin pairing. So yeah, maybe it's got room to move, but yeah, that's where I'd take it. I wouldn't take it much further than that. So, any more for any more? I'll tell you what, while you're thinking, let me have a look at Matic, because I've thrown a fair bit of more money into Matic recently, um, just because it peaked uh, and got above the two cent level, which is here. We found a nice retest of that yesterday, so I thought, what the hell? Um, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'll take a, I'll take a stab at it and see how far we can take this. Um, with Matic, uh, again, it's looking overextended, but it's not as bad as a lot of these other alts. It looks like it's got more room to go. Uh, Matic D's only just crossed over to the zero point not too long ago, and the RSI has got more room to move. So the all-time high uh, was not taken out, and that was all the way right up here. That was the big FOMO parabolic move. We came close to there and we managed to sell at the top. Those who follow my channel, we, we managed to get out pretty well on this one. Um, 
and just as well because look at the state of that that was horrendous so it's made me quite nervous getting back into it but we avoided the death cross and we technically are still playing out the golden cross from back here and um, we've made a consistent um, attempt now to reaccumulate. When you look at the state of the MACD, it, it, that's that's a nice accumulation phase. So I liked the way that that looked, and so I thought it is now it's time to get back in. Uh, maybe a little bit early because we only tested this yesterday, so I, you know, I could have should have maybe waited a little longer. Um, but I thought, now nah, what the hell? I've made a bit of profit um, on some of these other coins, so uh, you know I'm just using the profit really that I've I've made. So it's. I don't really class it as real money, really. It's um, silly, really, to think about it like that. But so, yeah, it's a bit of a high risk um, um, move to take on this one because I look at Matic as a bit of a diversifier. It's tending now to trend with the rest of the market, but um, it's also got its own thing going on. So, it's technically, I'd class it as a diversifier, something that you know, like how people like to look at XRP. But I think this is a, a better diversifier because of the, the nature of the way that it moves and makes big moves. It's margin tradable as well. So, I think if it's deciding, that it's, if it wants to go up now, it's reasonable to assume that we're going to come up to this level here 2.7 cent. Um, that is where we touched at these two levels here when we came out of the parabolic move and collapsed from so this would be my first target my first sell target this area here um, that's that's what I'm talking about it's also the uh, top of the, the Ichimoku cloud so two areas of, of, of resistance breaking above there should should then start to make decent moves all over again and if we're in a bull market or should I say if the market is picking up again then uh, then I think the matic could do quite well but I'm not convinced that it will, it will trend exactly with the rest of the market it, it's going to trend with the market but I don't think it will trend in the same time frames if that makes sense uh, we'll have to see. So that's my that's my wild card at the moment is um, is is Matic. My main investment is is Ethereum, and ultimately my main investment will be mostly Bitcoin. But not right now. It's not going to be. But ultimately, it's going to go back into Bitcoin. Binance Coin also. I did quite well out of Binance Coin. Uh, it's uh, it's not reached my target yet of um, of twenty dollars, uh, but it's been rejected from the uh, from the, from the. 200 simple moving average so this was a bit of a slow burner and Binance coin often does did do this in the last market it pumped with Bitcoin it did very well it pumped with Bitcoin really really high and really well uh, but then what happened um, is that it collapsed quite badly but if you think about it it's held its value more than most as far as altcoins are concerned it held its uh, it's held its value probably the best out of all because we started all the way back down here four dollars uh, and we retraced to 12 so that's three times up you don't really you didn't really see that with many other alts at the beginning of the year unless the ones that did supernatural pumps like Chainlink, for instance or even matic actually mathematic held quite a lot of its value from when it was released so not many did that so binance coin did that so it's, this is a good one to hold because it generally holds its value and there's a few problems with it obviously because because it's Binance, um, you know, it's open to. Ooh, I guess you could say anything to do any any problem with Binance, yeah, <laughs> then uh, it will suffer as a result. But generally speaking, I think it's a good coin to to own. And uh, most people will generally own some anyway because you get reduced trading fees on it. So anyway, rambling on that one. So we'll just leave that one alone. Oh, this, this again, like I say, we're closing above this level here, um, eighteen forty. Um, Anywhere above there will, will will remain bullish because that is your 200 EMA. And we've not had a golden cross on this. A lot of these alts haven't had golden crosses yet. So again, that will be another reason for them to alter, make big pumps. And after that last, that will probably be the ultimate pump for for the vast majority of these. Some are having uh, golden crosses already. Some are quite far away. So this might be one to watch and wait for. Um, maybe hold at the same time as Bitcoin maybe I could split between Bitcoin and Binance coin this one will do really well this year I'm telling you it would definitely do really well uh, so maybe between Binance and Bitcoin I will t I will take those two I'll split my my uh, portfolio in it between the two um, can we have a look at Dash let's have a look at Dash then never looked at Dash ever in my life so this will be a first for me wow that's a big move so there's a hell of a lot of coins that I miss out on because of some, uh, yeah we're getting our golden cross here on the daily um, yeah there's a lot of coins I miss out on um, with um, 
with trading because one of my rules is to try and keep trading as simple as possible so I try and focus on about between five to ten so mainly I focus on five coins and try and sort of get my head around them completely understand the way they move look at them daily and um, and then another sort of five that I keep you know in in the back of my head and um, so I miss out on hell of a lot of moves from a lot of altcoins but I'm, I'm fine with that because my strategy is to try and understand the coins I trade the best and a lot of the time it's not because they're the best coins it's because you know on Bybit you know you only have an opportunity to trade five no, four coins on there so so I trade those guys and a couple of others so yeah let's look at dash so being rejected from the top of the Bollinger Band that's fine but the Bollinger Band is having a little bit a bit of a pinch here uh, so a big massive move here we did uh, we had let's have a look at the state of this so it's room to move definitely has room to move and uh, we've had our golden cross on it now so this might be one of those coins those alt coins that makes its big pump and um, so there's no reason why that now we've had this that we don't have a pump all the way up to um, up to 140 50 or higher because we've got that golden cross on a daily and um, that would be reasonable to expect that so it doesn't mean that there can't be pullbacks but because we're having a pinch here you know obviously it's, there's a lot to lose if you were to buy it now and um, you could technically be pulled all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band or even lower to the 50 or the 200 um, but over a period of maybe a month and um, I would expect this level here to be taken out without too much of a problem I should mention that I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. So your target is 180. So let's have a reason for that. Um, I'm assuming you're going back to last year then to see these levels here. So that I mean that I can understand why you would think that, um, and that is a reasonable target to have. I'm just thinking in the short, sort of medium term. Like I say, within a within a month, or at least by. Um, by the end of March, and I like to try and keep things conservative. You know, try and try try and understand it as, as you know, any anything extra is a bonus. And um, given the signals that we've just had here, would, would I would expect to see a nice big bold move up to here quite soon, um, quite soon, maybe even a couple of weeks. You know, um, and you yeah, probably find a pullback from here and then see where we go from there. But yeah, I mean, over time, I mean, this year we, we'll be we'll be making new highs on this one. That's not that's not that far away, is it? I mean, I'm not the greatest mathematician, so I'm not going to work that out personally. But well, there's only a 50%. I say only a 50% move. That's a giant move. So yeah, within the next six months or so, yeah, yeah, that's that's reasonable to ex expect that because we're having a golden cross now. It looks like we're about to enter into a bull market with crypto in general. So yeah, you know, of course, 180, that's a reasonable target. The first opportunity, though, would be to try and maybe get out around here for a pullback and then and then um, sort of get back into it, I suppose, after the pullback. That's how I'd look at it anyway. But yeah, fair play. good, good. That's a good idea, good target. Uh, let's have a look then what else we want to look at. GV... What do you think of Genesis Vision? I, you know what? I'm not a fundamental person. I don't really know what all these sort of things mean. I got into crypto technically through trading traditional markets and and stuff like that. So I'm more into just reading charts and stuff like that. So I don't know anything about technology and, and all these sort of things. So I know very very little about it. So I can't really give you any insight onto that side of things. But what I could say though is if you wanted to join my uh, telegram group if you find me on Twitter you'll see there's a pinned tweet to my telegram group if you join there there's a lot of people on there um, who are quite knowledgeable about all that sort of thing and they all have they all have strong opinions and and do their that do their homework so yeah um, so join that all oh, right GVT is a is a is a chart is it right well my mistake Okay, let's have a look at this then. But, like I say, join the Telegram group anyway. There's a, a bit of a, a, a rambling advert I gave you there for my Telegram chat. Um, let's have a look at this chat there. So it doesn't look great, to be honest with you. It doesn't look great at all. Um, it looks terrible, in fact. It looks, it looks awful. Um, it's just making... Technically, it's making. It's just made a lower low now. There's nothing to say that this is going to do anything. To be honest with you, I can't really 
give you anything positive about this. I mean, there's there's nothing positive about it. We're we're trending down and we're being rejected from the top of the Bollinger Band. We're, we're underneath the the green 50, which is down sloping for the vast majority of its of its recent life. Um, unless something magical gets pulled out of the bag for this one, it's it's going to continue doing this, and it's going to probably be an underperformer. Uh, this is where you know the people with fundamental knowledge will 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 come out of the woodwork and tell me that actually I'm wrong because the world is going to adopt it as a as a as a currency or something like that. I, mean, I, I can't say anything about that. All I can say is that this chart is very bearish, and I, and it would be very it would be more than risky, it would be just a very bad idea to get involved in this one I'm, so, I'm sorry I can't really tell you anything more about it it doesn't look good to me, everything's crossing negatively on the longer time frames too um, and we're just trending beneath all major moving averages generally, we've had a bit of a pump recently but I think that's just because the market has what was that pump from bottom to top 20% so it's a decent, a decent move but yeah, it's a lucky one uh, I can't really say anything about it. Well, let's just see how this plays out, right? If, if let's just say that if recently the low was was this level here, so that's a um, thousand satoshis, okay? So we're probably going to be coming back down to test that, given the way that this this chart is just going down. Let's just say that it's we'll expect it to come down to a thousand satoshis again. If we don't come down to a thousand satoshis over the next two weeks, then maybe we might be going up, and we'll be and we could be reversing the trend. But there's nothing at the moment to say that um, that is happening because you've only just made a new low here. You could give it the benefit of the doubt and say that the market is reversing, so it's reasonable to assume that this is reversing, and so perhaps maybe this is the bottom here. Um, but even if it is the bottom, um, the bottom's already in for a lot of these other coins. So why not trade them instead? I mean, I, you know, well, this one is going to take time for me to make any decisions. So what I'd say is wait to see if over the next two weeks it revisits areas like a thousand satoshis. If it doesn't, and its next consolidation is um, any one of these daily green candles instead of a thousand sats, then maybe maybe it is reversing and maybe you could look at buying it but it doesn't look you know, I mean I mean it would be great wouldn't it it would be amazing to be buying back down here and expecting it to come back up here I mean that would be I mean what what is that I mean just roughly that would be I mean that is the dream isn't it that's the crypto dream 6000% increase in value I mean that is the crypto dream but I mean, it might I mean the reason it's a dream is because it's unlikely to happen but it, you know anything's possible but if that if that did happen that might be the sort of thing that would make me want to jump off a bridge because you've told me to look at this coin and I've disregarded it completely and in two years time um, you know you could you could fly over to my house in your private jet and slap me in the face but for, for me right now the, the chat doesn't look very good um, let's have a little look then shall we at Ada shall we so I hope that was useful to you that's all I can say about it see if it revisits a thousand sats uh, and if it doesn't um, Maybe you could think about buying it because it would be reasonable to assume that the bottom has been, it would be in at that point. Ada likes to trend with Bitcoin. Um, I know that. Um, and it likes to make big moves. Um, I know that. But it's also been in, in a horrible downtrend for a while. So, so it's made some decent moves already. Uh, this is another one that I'd be very surprised to see it ever get back up to its all-time high. Um, but incoming Golden Cross, so you know it's perking up. It's looking all right. There's n there's absolutely an enormous amount of money to be made on this one already. From the bottom to the top is a hundred percent increase. That's great. So yeah, Golden Cross incoming at some point soon. Maybe the next pullback. Probably you know down to these moving averages here, maybe the nine EMA or the ten simple, and um, but these are fastly approaching. So every day that these go, um, they, they'll they'll be they'll be reaching higher highs. So if you're trading on these, because uh, like I say, this this next this last pullback as of yesterday hit the um, that that's the the nine EMA that it hit there, um, followed by the ten simple, which are converging together. So that would make a decent pullback area tomorrow. Um, but that's going to be probably up here by tomorrow. So five and a half cent 
would be the the, small, the the largest pullback I'd expect to see on this one. Um, and because we've got this fast approaching golden cross, probably gonna probably gonna be complete, you know, by this time next week. Probably look at some really big moves on this one too. So yeah, I, I like the look of it. I do like the look of it for the moment. Um, let's not judge it on its previous history. Let's just judge it on what we can see right now, which is uh, a bullish setup about to kick in. Uh, let's have a look on the weekly because it's a long. It's been it's been around a while, so let's just see if we've got anything interesting on the weekly. Looks like we've got an, a cross taking place here on the Ichimoku cloud. Uh, conversion of the baseline um, is pr has probably taken place beneath there. Can't really say for certain, but I'm, I'm, I imagine that it will. Um, resistance cloud very very small, so I expect to smash through that on a weekly. So I think this one's going to do pretty well actually, and have decent continuation, maybe up to and above its previous high of last year, um, which isn't massive, is it? I mean, it's over 10 cent, but I would expect to see this reach over 10 cent, um, not immediately, but three months or so probably. The fact that we got that conversion of the baseline cross would suggest continuation. So. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, definitely one of the best alts that that I've seen there. I've forgotten all about Ada. I did used to really like it and just completely forgot all about it. So, so yeah, it's looking good. Um, and uh, probably probably looking to make its uh, most recent high um, and and break that. So within about three or four months. Trading and logging, which one? Do, sorry, I'm dyslexic, so it's, it's difficult for me to read stuff uh, off the back. So, um, trading and longing, which one do you think it would be more profitable to do for me? Oh, right, so you're talking about margin trading and stuff. Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, if, if you're asking me that kind of question, it, I would probably say that you're probably best off just trading it on, you know, owning the coins because you can take a hit you know and have a decreased currency you know for a, a, a you know a temporary or a prolonged period of time and still recover from that but trading you know on a margin account you can lose it completely so unless your risk reward strategy isn't absolutely amazing 100% accurate or close to it I'd have to say you know if you're if you're if if you don't if you're not prepared to lose, sort of, it's basically if you ask me that kind of question, I'll probably say don't bother margin trading. Uh, get used to doing it all on an exchange because you can afford to make mistakes on an on an exchange. You know, you can't really afford to make mistakes margin trading. The the there's a statistic which is, from what I understand, is quite accurate, which is um, it's the ninety 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 rule, which is and this is apparently a proven fact, and I completely. Can I understand it? Ninety percent of traders lose ninety percent of their margin within ninety days. Um, so that basically means that the odds are against everybody margin trading. It takes a lot of practice. So the best way to get practice is to trade on a, on an exchange. You get used to the way things move. You can take a hit, but you don't lose it, everything. You know, you just have a devalued currency at the end of the day. They were probably, depending on what you're trading, is likely to perk up in the end anyway. So I would say stay away from margin trading unless you've been trading on an exchange for at least a, few, a couple of years and getting getting the hang of things. And even when you do margin trade, just be very very careful and uh, always have stop losses uh, and always use low leverage. You know, don't get greedy is what I'm saying. It's, it's, it, profit is good. You always want to be in some form of profit, doesn't matter how small it is. So if you if you've got a 10% move on a 2x leverage, you've made profit. You don't need to go 10%, 15%, 25%. You don't need that because the chances are you're probably not going to achieve that. It's probably going to go the wrong way um, and you'll lose it all. So that's all I've got to say about it, really. NRG. Let's have a look. I never even heard of that one. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Well, it's not here, so I'm afraid I, I, I cannot do that. Sorry about that. BitTorrent token. So BitTorrent token, I have liked. Um, I kind of bought when I saw this accumulation pattern forming, <coughs> and I sold around this level here. It looks like it's doing its second wave of pumping now. Um, and <coughs> excuse me, 
it's looking quite constructive and this is the way it looked last year I traded a lot of this last year I was making some really de decent moves and then obviously it all fell apart and I lost I lost a, um, a little bit uh, on this move here uh, so I decided not to bother with it anymore and just as well because look at the state of it ever since but um, the reason I liked it and the reason I got back into it is because of this large accumulation pattern that took place here and then we reached what looked like a peak for the time but now it looks like we're making nice progressive moves up so again it's trending with the market and it actually it's been performing very well so I'd wait for it to pull back a little bit further, come back down to these moving averages, which again are fast approaching, so every day the, the supports will be higher. But as of the, at, at the moment, the, the support as of today would be as low as uh, 3882. I don't think it's going to come down to there anytime soon. Um, it's more than likely going to be supported above there. Um, so I would say uh, that's we're above that big peak there, so maybe buying this anywhere above. 4,000 would be um, would be a good buy, um, but it's a risky one because look at the state of it. It's it's pretty bad, and you got you got to sort of take a lot of things in, into consideration. There's a lot of BitTorrent tokens around, but it's heavily traded, so the volume is always quite high. So that makes it a good coin to be trading in, but it also makes it a coin that can't ever really make huge huge gains in the long term. But short term, it can make some decent moves. It's not a coin that you'd want to hold for a very long time, but at this price now, there's no reason to assume that it won't get up to, oh, I'm not really thinking it's going to do this again, um, but getting to around about 6,000, there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, V-Chain, let's have a look at V-Chain. I remember V-Chain is, is a messy chart, so it's a difficult one for me to work out, but we'll have a look at it all the same. Have a quick sip of my tea before it gets too cold. So it's made some pretty good moves already um, at the end of last year. So I would be expecting to see this make good moves again. We had a golden cross back here and then suffered a little ever since. It looks like to me we're just crossing up above the zero point here on the daily. So actually, this one looks pretty good to me. Good setup above the itchy cloud. A, a little bit of a pullback's probably needing to to take place. Maybe ever so slightly down to the bottom of this cloud. So six two six five. Um, but we probably won't. We might not get down to that level. We might just start to launch. And if we do, we'll, we'll be coming up to these all-time, well, all-time, those most recent tops here. Um, if you wanted to be safe, you'd probably think about selling um, at the top of these candles or just below, so around seven three four, seven three four nine or something like that, to, to be safe because you don't want to get front run by everybody else. The idea is you you front run them. Um, and if you miss out on making, you know, hitting the actual top, who cares? It's better to miss the top um, uh, than to suffer the, the the pullback. So that's what I would I, I would expect this to to start making sort of decent moves. Again, we're 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 accumulating here. This is an accumulation phase after technically this nasty looking pullback, um, but technically playing out a golden cross. Uh, technically accumulating and just getting into bullish territory getting a little overextended but not too bad so I like the look of it to be honest with you yeah so it's looking alright um, so yeah my strategy if I were to trade this would be to to sell at just under this this second wave of candle bodies so yeah about th uh, 7349 I'll probably put a sell limit at and see where we go from there if it, if it, if it, if it makes a higher high then great and if it pulls back brilliant then buy it back Right, any more for any more, or shall I call it a day on this on this uh, live stream? If you haven't joined my Telegram chat, go to my Twitter feed, CryptoClick. You'll recognise my logo, the the most basic logo you've ever seen in your life. So you'll recognise that. It's pretty pretty obvious, pretty basic. And then I've got a pinned tweet. So go to the pinned tweet. Yeah, that's my Telegram chat. Join that. Chip in. There's a lot of people on there now that with with a lot better knowledge of actual coins and fundamentals than than me. I just have a very simplistic um, trading um, strategy, um, which only really works, you know, 
for a, for a, a period of weeks or months. Um, it doesn't give you the big picture like some of these other guys on there can give you. Um, so yeah, feel free to join that. Um, other than that, I hope you have a nice evening. I'll give you, I'll tell you what, I'll give you two or three minutes to, to come up with any other coins you want me to have a look at. Because I know there's a bit of a delay on here. I often end the channel, uh, end the live stream early, and by the time I've closed it, I see all these people saying, oh, can you look at this? So I'll give you a few minutes now to, to let me know if there's anything else you want me to have a look at. ENJN, never heard of that. Let's have a look. I'm assuming this is what you want me to look at. Mmm, looking, looking alright actually. Let's just measure that out. I haven't got an idea of how big that move actually is. It looks very big. It looks very big. That's a bit too big for my liking. Um, <laughs> is a risky one. Let's have a look at this. All right, so it's gone. It's it, it's made giant giant moves. Okay, in incredible giant moves. So to get involved in this one would be very risky. What I would say though is that looking at it now, um, just off just just for the very first time, we're having a golden cross about to form which looks like it's inevitable because we've come up so high. We've found a support down at this level here, bouncing at this level here. So, it might mean that it's going to continue with this move. I've seen things like this recently that normally I would say stay away from it, it's moved up too fast too soon. Um, and I've kicked myself, not really kicked myself, but wished that I had a bit more of a, a, a gambling edge to me, but I don't. So I like to play things safe, but yeah, you know, crypto can can be crazy. So the good thing is we're above all major moving averages. We've got a fresh cross on the itchy cloud, and we've also got a golden cross, which is probably going to form by tomorrow. And we've got a nice support here, but this kind of looks a little bit like a spinning top, you know, a very big one, um, which would mean indecisiveness of the market. So that's a very big spinning top, isn't it? That's twenty five percent, twenty six percent size candle from wick to wick. So it means that it could go either way, um, but the um, the odds as of this moment that we're looking at it right now, if you had a gun to my head and say which way do you think it's going to go, I'd probably say it's likely to go up again. Uh, but where is it going to go up to? I don't really know. The chart is uh, it's not it's not it's not too young, but it's not too old either. <clears throat> Technically, and this would be its very first golden cross it's ever had, so it could go, it could make a parabolic move. But I can't tell you where it's going to end. Um, I can't say for certain that it's that it's likely to to make these highs again. I don't, I just don't know. But it looks good. It's just risky, and you balance everything out on a risk to reward, reward ratio. The risk is high. The rewards could be high. So. It's it's a it's a gamble definitely it's a, it's a it's a it's a gamble. I'd give it another day to see if we can come back down to test maybe at least uh, the, the, these moving averages here, but that by that time you could have missed out. So this is why I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not financial advice. This is a risky coin, and and this could make you a lot of money. It could this could, this could double. More, it could it could get close to doubling, because that's our, our our actual high right up here. But it might not. But moving averages, just mo just based on its moving averages, um, the odds are in its favour. It is oversold, uh, sorry, overbought at the moment, so it needs to come back and chill out for a bit. So I'd give it another day to be safe. Um, but that golden cross should play out, and it should give it another another boost. So just wait a day or two and see where you go from there before getting involved. But it looks like it does look like it wants to pump again. Um, volume is okay, so excuse me. How many one? Yes, of course. Uh, I've not covered one today, so let's have a look at that. It's looking quite good, actually. I'm, uh, you know, I, I sold my one. Um, I did sell it to buy some bats, and then that's all gone back into Matic now. So, unfortunately, you know, 
I could miss out on, on the big move everyone's expecting. So, still in a nice accumulation phase. The accumulation phase is still going on. It's not gone too crazy. It's not look, it's not looking bad at all. Um, it looks like it might do better than Matic, in fact. Um, so, yeah, it's got a Samsung partnership. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know which coin you mean, but, yeah, th these are the things I don't know. So, this is why you want to join in my Telegram chat. These are, these are the sort of, we need to know your, we need to have your knowledge on there. So, get yourself on my Telegram chat and um, and, and share share your wealth of knowledge because I don't know that kind of sort of stuff. And I do want to know it. I just don't have the time to research it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, um, the, obvious, the obvious move here is going to be up to... 620 uh, where the itchy cloud finishes and then we've got a descending um, 200 simple now 200 moving average um, EMA that would be they would also be rejection points but breaking above here should should maybe make a make a big bold move what I will say is that over the next um, over the next month until we get to this level here which is the uh, 25th 25th of uh, February. If we're still in with it, in this cloud, the cloud will end, and it will give us enough, it will give us enough freedom to start making better moves. This was a very nice move. That one there, 10% move in a day. So yeah, that was that was good. So so one looks good, definitely looks good, and it's still accumulating. It's not overstretched really, so it's looking okay. It's, it is looking good. I'm I'm going to give it a few more weeks to really mature, and um, and then I think it might do. It might pop like everyone's expecting it to. But you know whether that pop is up to this level here. I don't know. That'd be great if it was, because it would mean we'd be above this guy, and technically we will be above the 200 EMA as well. Uh, and, and we need to stay above here for us to have continuation. Um, let's have a look at the weekly. The weeklies are going to be very small. It's not very insightful, is it? Um, we have. Oh, it's all the way back here. We had that cross on the um, conversion. Uh, baseline cross and that that's obviously playing out because that means continuation from there um, so I mean yeah it's, it's looking good I mean it's looking great to be honest with you it's looking great um, I might kick myself for selling it but you know that is the nature of trading the link for the telegram group I don't have it on my YouTube but it's if, if you go to if you've got to find me on Twitter which should be quite easy uh, it's a pinned tweet you'll see it on there um, so yeah, just you, you'll find me there. So join join the Telegram chat. So go to my Twitter, a pinned tweet. There's the link there for everyone to join. Right, I'll give you another couple of minutes then for people to decide um, if there's anything else you want me to have a have a look at. Oh, my tea's gone cold. Oh, I've, that's that's how I know how long I've been doing this for. Judging judging the length of a of a. Um, of a live stream by the, the the quality of the tea that I'm drinking. No, I've looked. I've not looked at live uh, link. Let's have a look at that. <clears throat> so link was an interesting chart really because it did that giant big move and basically had a golden cross from back there. It's it's, it's not had a death cross, um, which is unlike all the other alts. Uh, they all had death crosses, uh, sort of. Towards the end of the summer last year, and uh, Link never got that because it actually started to make big moves uh, as re after that period. Um, but it came close to having a death cross in it and narrowly avoided it. So it's a different chart to the uh, other alts. But as of where it's going from here, it's got room to move on the RSI definitely. The, the MACDs actually had a negative cross, so it's, mm, strange. I think this one's got room to move. To be honest with you, I do think it's got more room to move. My target would have been these levels here, which looks like there had been a lot of other people's targets. And uh, these candle bodies here, yeah, look, these are pretty obvious here. So people have been front running these these candles. They got front run, pull back, front run. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> once we take out these guys here, these tops here of three dollars, um, and probably expect some decent decent moves after that. At the moment, it's going to be a bit choppy, a bit rocky because we're getting towards the top of the Bollinger Bands. We're going to get front run on these candles here at three dollars. After three dollars, if three dollars gets taken out and held and, and held there at uh, support above three dollars, then yeah, we'll, we'll be looking to see some decent moves from Link. Um, we could be seeing those any moment, really. The moving averages are all spread out quite nicely. 
um, each cloud cross from all the way back down here as so a continuation from this level back down here so yeah it's got plenty of room to move um, but we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out because it is a negative cross all the same So, but it's in bullish territory but it's a negative cross so it might want to pull back a little bit from this level um, I think it's a bit of a sleeping giant to be honest with you but wait for it to pull back my my, my first guess would be it would come back to um, maybe around not much really between two dollars eighty to two dollars seventy five um that'd be the center of the bollinger band actually on the daily is two dollars sixty nine so see how we go by that and uh, and and wait for it to make its second big push I've looked at VeChain and it looked good actually. It did look good. It's a coin that I don't like to trade because it's a little bit choppy. It looks a bit cra crazy, generally speaking. But the, from what I saw, it does look uh, it does look actually pr pretty good. So uh, I won't do it again. But my 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 overall summary is that it's quite it's quite good. Probably got another ten percent in it quite soon. Um, but you'll have to go back if you want to watch that. I, yeah, I did I did look at that one. Elf. I never heard of Elf. Let's have a look at Elf for you. Not there, it's here. Ooh, 10% down, 12% down for the day. That's not a good sign. Oh, right, well, that, that's what. That's why then. Um, how big was that? So, yesterday we moved 36%, basically. That'll be why it's come down. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Let's have a look at this chart. I don't know why that happened. Let's have a look at this. A, a small accumulation phase, but not one that I would have ever expected to see that. This might be as a result of some kind of, you know, news or something like that. I don't know what caused this pump. I don't know what caused it. Um, but it did happen, and we rejected from the 200 EMA. So I would just wait to see what happens after this one. If we can hold above this candle where we launched from, great. Then maybe you could get back into it. But it's this is a weird one. Unless someone can explain to me why that happened, judging by the chart alone, it doesn't look like it should have happened. So well, the chart's telling us where it's been rejected from. That's quite clear. Um, but it doesn't tell us why it happened. Um, there's there's nothing for me to go by on that one. Um, What's the volume like this? The volume's been tiny, tiny, t teeny tiny until this giant big move where it just basically... Oh, I can't explain it. So, and, uh, yeah, there, there's something must have happened and I don't understand. Um, yeah, I can't I can't give you any insight onto that one. All I can say is, um, if we do pump and we, and we start to close above this 200 EMA, then yeah, we might be making some big bold moves on this one, but for the moment it looks it looks too mad for me. I'd stay away from that. What you know, if you were lucky enough to get in here, then great, but you would be lucky because you were basically buying a, a a a a decreasing asset there, so so you that was just pure luck. Unless, of course, you're one of those people, like the few people on my Telegram chat that, that do do their research and homework, and then they probably were the people who did those moves, and they weren't lucky. They just know it alls, and it's paid off. Yeah, so there's, there must be something to it. Uh, I, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand that one. Pearl. I'll have a look at Pearl. Mm, not so sure. I've, I've looked at it myself ever before. I prefer to look at things on tether pairings, to be honest with you. It's a very, 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 very young chart. Um, but um, <clears throat> what I would say is that even though it's very young, um, we might have something to go by here. So we're having a negative cross here on the MACD. So it's, it looks like it wants to come down ever so slightly, but it might not because it's only just happened. And But there was a big pump. Let's measure that pump out from bottom to top. Oh my god, that's massive. So you see, when a, when a chart looks like this, uh, it's difficult to understand how big that move was. That's a 100% move. Okay, so we're going to have to come down. <laughs> going to have to come down from that one. This might be worth trading this on the on the daily, waiting for us to come down to the center of the Bollinger Band before even deciding what we're going to do next. Um, if something moves 100% in, what is that, two weeks, it's probably best to leave it alone, you know. And I know it's tempting to get involved, and the RSI looks like it wants to go back up. We've retraced. How much have we retraced from here? We retraced, um, well, as of today, a 
I'd still wait to see if we can visit the uh, the, the center of the Bollinger Band. We are above most moving averages uh, of significance, um, but it's a very young chart and pfft, it's sending mixed messages. It, the RSI wants it to move up. The MACD says it's still wanting to pull back. Uh, we've gone up 100% and come back down 20. Um, so I would expect to see maybe a little bit more of a pullback on that one. Um, the overall chart is horrendous. Um, it's not good. Um, but you've got to judge everything on its uh, individual merit. And um, if it has pumped all all this way, and it's and uh, you know it, there's there's no reason to suggest it won't continue because the market looks like it wants to continue. So wait to see if it can come back down to this area here, roughly, um, which is what three cent. It might not come down to that level, to be honest, but it could do. But it will take a few days. You've got to wait, and if you miss the move, don't worry about it. You know, there's 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 plenty of other coins out there, but you don't want to be taking a risk on something that that's sending mixed messages. If I uh, this looks like it's maybe 60% likely to continue up from this level now, and 40% likely to go down. So that's that's not a good risk reward ratio to be honest with you that's only just in a little bit in your favor so that's a gamble for me and again I'm not a uh, financial advisor so it's not financial advice but for me personally you know for to 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 get into this one would be too too risky for me but it looks okay like I say the odds are ever so slightly in your favor for it to continue immediately that would be Am I out? What's the ticker for that? You got to give me the ticker, man. You got to give me the ticker. I'll give you a few minutes to give me that, and I'll drink my cold tea, and uh, then I might just call it a day. Because um, for those who might be new to the channel, I've got a, um, I've got a, got a new baby downstairs. Uh, it's two weeks old today. So, I don't really want to be, uh, it's my last day of paternity leave, so I should really, um, I should really spend a bit more time with them. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yes, this is the one you want to look at. Iota. This one's looking quite good, just staring at it right now. Um... I mean, it's 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 being rejected from the um, from the 200 EMA, which is fine. Um, this looks like it wants to. It it reminds me actually of um, of uh, XRP chart actually. It looks a lot like it. Um, so what I would say is, is it's pulling back from here, which is fine. Let's have a look at this. There's, this needs to come down. It's bullish. It's definitely bullish. It needs to come back a little bit. Um, if you trade <coughs> with your moving averages on, um, get the 9 EMA. Um, get your 9 EMA set up and your 10 simple, your 10 basic moving average. And it's probably it will be coming down to test those levels uh, on its very first pass and then probably trying to make a bounce from those. That's what I'd probably say. They're fast approaching, so I can't give you an exact figure of where it's going to come down to because these will be moving quite quite steeply up every single day. But it's looking pretty good actually. Um, it just needs to come down a bit. Um, breaking above here, the, the the which is the the 200, so that would be um, six eight six one. As of today, that 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 figure will change. But it's kind of balancing out. That's when it will really start to make some big moves. Uh, the moves would probably. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry, man. Sorry. <coughs> but uh, for what it's worth. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna. This one's gonna pull back, and uh, and and breaking above this level would be um, would would be game on, really. All right. Sorry about that. My mistake. Right, let's have a look at this one then, shall we? Okay, so this one looks even better. Definitely looks even better. Let's have a look at the RSI is way overextended. This one needs to come back down. Um, this one looks like it's already made its moves, actually. Uh, it needs to come back down before it, it continues with its moves. 
Uh, massive, massive moves from bottom to top there. Uh, so your Golden Cross approaching, um, Itchy Clouds conversion baseline. So this would have been the area to get involved in this, um, where you see the conversion cross over the baseline. If you don't trade with the um, Ichimoku Clouds, I suggest that it might be a little late to do it now, um, uh, to catch bottoms or whatever, but it's definitely a good indicator to use for long-term analysis. So generally, the, one of the most basic ways of using it is this. Um, I've got so many moving averages here, but you see this fat, um, light blue one that I've got here, and, and this fat faded red one. That's a that's a conversion and a baseline cross. And so when you when you get um, a change in behaviour, uh, this one predicts a continuation of a move over a longer period of time. So you will never catch the absolute bottom, but you will generally get a good indicator of its confirmation of its continued trend. So what's happened here is we've got our cross here, and then we've had a, a very good continuation of that trend and the, and the spread is quite good uh, and so what will inevitably happen one day in the future is that those that conversion line will cross over the baseline which will be the blue the fat blue over the, the faded fat red and the the top will already be in at that point um, but you'll when you see that it's time to get out or maybe to short it because it'll be coming back down for a prolonged period of time so this one's already made its move actually but it looks like it needs to come back down again before this next big push will happen when we get the golden cross so don't go buying it now, but um, feel free to uh, wait for the pullback and, and get back involved because the next big move will happen. I, I can't tell you where that will be to. Um, let's have a look about this toppy area here. So areas like 37, 38 cent, where we were supported from all this area here and all this area here would be probably resistance so 37 to 38 cent would probably be a resistance so when we get that cross um, we'd get back up there without too much of an issue uh, and and probably find more resistance around 44 or 45 cent um, but yeah I mean it's made enormous moves already uh, needs to come back down desperately needs to come back down but we'll be making big moves again shortly because this golden cross is on the cards and probably by this time next week will have happened uh, sparking the next big move up so I hope you enjoyed my live stream I'm gonna call it a day there feel free to join my telegram chat feel free to donate to me you know that'd be very nice I've got a few um, wallet addresses down below sending super chats is always appreciated but uh, YouTube skim massively uh, you know I basically if you give me a super chat I, I basically get about half of it just over half of it so don't give your money to YouTube uh, give it directly to me uh, but don't feel for, don't give me anything you know I'm not asking for your money but some people like to donate and it's better to do it through um, through crypto because um, that's uh, that's straight from you to me anyway I hope you have a nice evening thanks for watching and um, yeah take it easy <laughs>